Hello all, welcome to AutoBoot YouTube channel. Today we are going to understand what is entry point in UiPath. As we all know, if you are considering a programming language and if you try to run a class, the first method that is going to run is the main method. Alright? So same like that in uh, UiPath also, if you are not configuring any other function to run in priority, by default it will execute the main.xam. Right? But in case in our project, if we are setting some uh, other workflow as the entry point, we are setting the priority for that particular uh, workflow. Okay, so if you are setting that like that, and if you are using any of the function like invoke process or run parallel process, that particular workflow will get triggered instead of main.xml. Okay, so that is the purpose of entry point. So it means to start the process in our root folder, we are going to set, okay, we need to start this particular workflow uh, in priority, e even though if a main.xml is present in that particular folder. Okay, so uh, let me show you uh, two process that is available in UiPath Studio. That is invoke, sorry, not invoke code, that is invoke process. Okay, so in invoke process, uh, it is asking for a process name. Okay, it is asking for a process name and it is asking for an entry point. Okay, so suppose if we are not setting any entry point by default, it will take main.xml by default. Okay. So here this process name is nothing but here the name is little bit tricky. Okay, so here the process name means the package name. Okay, uh, what is the name of the package? Okay, so that is this uh, uh, process name. So here my project name is entry point. Okay, so that is the process name. Okay, and what is the entry point? Entry point is nothing but the workflow which I need to execute in priority. Okay, but for that what we have to do? If you are just pointing some uh, particular XML file, it won't take it into a priority list. Okay, so for that, what we have to do? We need to make this workflow as an entry point. Okay, so in your workflow or in your project, if there are multiple multiple workflows, what you have to do is you need to right click on that workflow and you need to set it as or enable the entry point for that particular workflow. Okay, so I'm going to enable the entry point for all these uh, workflows okay and by default you can see the main is uh, already in uh, entry point okay so you can see a uh, green arrow mark on top of this workflow symbol okay so i made all these uh, uh, three things into uh, the uh, entry point or let me do one thing let me disable this one okay so i have disabled the entry point three from this uh, list let me save it okay and uh, uh, okay so let me tell you one more thing like what is the purpose of this invoke process so invoke process is nothing but like if i have created this project okay in this project you can see uh, we have four xml files are there one is main.xml one is entry point.xml entry point2.xml 3.xml right so in uh, in an another process or in an another project if you want to invoke some workflow from this project okay from this uh, process what you have to do you need to give the name of this process okay so you need to give the name of this entry point and you need to give the name of this particular uh, workflow okay which you want to execute in the other uh, other uh, uh, process okay so if you give like that if you are going for invoke process so what will happen it will trigger this invoke process and the parent sequence or the parent flow will wait till the completion of this invoke process okay so once this particular invoke process got complete then only it will continue with the next step of action okay so that is the purpose of invoke process but if you're going for run parallel process okay so run parallel process is also a similar one here you can see it is asking for the process name and here it is asking for an entry point but the difference is like if you are using run parallel process once it triggers this particular run parallel process it will dynamically uh, move to the next step okay so this process will parallel uh, parallel run along with the main uh, class or the main flow okay but if you are going for invoke 
invoke process this process should complete then only it will go to the next step okay so let me show you how you can set this entry point in, in another workflow for that what i'm going to do is let me create a new process okay i'm going to name it like a, a test entry process okay i'm just uh, name the process like a test entry process i click on create okay so here you can see we have the entry point uh, process is there and uh, now i have created a new one right test entry process so i'm going to open the main workflow and inside this particular process i'm going to invoke the entry point process okay so we have two projects i'm going to call an another class or an another xml file from another project okay so for that we can use this invoke process so let me drag this activity okay here we have to provide the process name so what was the process name so the process name was uh, entry point right so entry point was the uh, project name or we can call it as the process name okay and here we have to give the entry point so in that workflow uh, i have enabled uh, entry point 1.xml as entry point entry point 2.xml as entry point and main.xml by default it is an entry point okay suppose if i want to execute entry point 1.xml i just need to provide that workflow name over here okay so let me save it and let me show you how it will work okay so here you can see it has populated or it has uh, generated the message box entry point one okay so this entry point one is provided inside entry point one dot xml uh, workflow okay so uh, inside this test entry process we added the invoke process and we successfully invoked the uh, workflow which is there inside this particular package entry point okay so that is purpose of uh, this invoke uh, uh, process okay so this function will work only if you enable a particular workflow as an entry point okay so i hope this particular uh, configuration or the particular functionality is clear for you uh, so you need to understand what is this entry point and how you can use this particular entry point to invoke some workflow in another uh, process okay so let's move on so this is how you can use uh, this entry point and these activities to invoke another process in uipath studio okay so the same kind of thing you can do it in uh, uipath sorry uipath orchestrator also so what i'm going to do is let me go to this entry point okay so this is our entry point uh, process and inside that uh, we have uh, four xml files right so we have enabled entry point 1 and entry point 2 dot xml as the uh, entry point right we enabled the uh, entry point for both this one and this entry point 3 is not uh, set uh, uh, enabled as uh, the entry point right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to publish this particular uh, process to uh, uipath orchestrator okay so let me click on publish and the studio is connected to demo environment right so let me click on publish entry point click on next uh, i need to upload to orchestrator tenant feed publish okay so let it complete the publishing okay so we got the message project published successfully click on ok then i'm going to orchestrate okay you need to go to tenant okay go to package okay so here you can see a minute ago a new package got uploaded to or published to the orchestrator that is entry point okay so here what i need to do is um, i'm going to demo environment i'm going to process okay I'm going to create a new process. Okay, so here I'm going to choose the package which got uh, published just now. Okay, 
so inside this dumb environment i'm going to open up this uh, package which i just uploaded so once i did that it will ask for the entry point okay so it will ask for the entry point so by default it is main.xml right but uh, we know in this particular process or in this particular package we have these two uh, saml files we enabled it as a entry point right so from this uh, entry point you can choose any of that and you can also check whether entry point uh, 3.xml is available in this list right so that is not available because we didn't enable uh, it as an entry point in the uh, process right so that's why that is not available so if i want to set this entry point 1.xml as an entry point i can click on that click on next okay click on next okay just give a process name so i'm just naming it like a entry point demo okay click on create so here you can see a new process got generated i'm going to click on start a job so i can use any of the account for doing that because it has configured only to my laptop so let me click on start come and send for entry point demo okay so now you can see it has invoked the entry point one okay so this entry point one is nothing but uh this message box okay so this has invoked the message box inside this entry point of one dot xml file okay so hope this is clear so one of the main benefit with uh this entry point is like uh, here you can see uh, we have created a a process right process using one package that we uploaded to uh the orchestrator okay and the entry point is uh, entry point one dot xml so same like that suppose if you have uh, four workflows right so here you have four workflows other and if you want to create some four process okay and if you want to invoke uh, different different uh, workflows from this particular uh, project what you can do you can create different process to invoke uh, this different workflows by setting it as an entry point okay so you don't need to create separate project for each and every uh, uh saml file and you don't need to uh, upload any uh, package right so you can uh, uh, easily maintain the entire project like uh, by creating a single project and you can upload that to orchestrator as a single package and using that single package and if you have set the different workflows as a different uh, entry point you can call that or you can set that particular workflow as an entry point in the orchestrator while creating the process and you can like that way you can create a multiple process okay so currently i have created one process called entry point demo and i have invoked entry point one dot xml right so same like that i can create a another uh process okay i'm going to use the same package entry point i'm going to set entry point two dot xml okay then click on next i need to give the name i'm going to name it like entry point demo okay click on create so here you can see we have created two process okay using the same package but we we have set the entry point as two different uh, workflows okay so if i trigger this particular job what will happen okay it has generated the message box entry point 2 so entry point 2 is nothing but it has invoked this particular saml file okay this message box entry point 2 okay so this is this is a very uh, helpful functionality in uh, uipath studio if you are going for a uh, complex project okay and if you want to uh, uh, start different workflows for each process you can use this entry point by configuring that in the uh, uipath studio by right clicking on the workflow and you can set that particular workflow as a entry point okay then you can publish that to orchestrator and you can create a process for that particular uh, workflow by setting it as an entry point okay so hope uh, this particular functionality is clear for you 
please try this in your ua path orchestrator as well as try to create a sample process and uh, enable the uh, workflow as an entry point okay then publish that to orchestrator and try to create a process for that particular entry point so please share the video to your friends please like the video please comment your value opinions and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye